Welcome back to the Vendor Showcase. Uh, I have with me today, Peter Carasone. Welcome. Thanks, Paul. Good to be with you. So tell us a little bit about you, Pete. Yeah, a little bit about me. So I've been in the dealership retail franchise world for a little over a decade as the director of operations of a dealer group, actually an advertising background prior to that. But when I met the dealer that I work for, he had this spreadsheet I found fascinating. He was just coming up with numbers that he knew on the fly that I just knew he wouldn't have access to that easily. So we worked together as um, a partnership where I had an ad agency and I handled all his advertising back in the newspaper days. And we talked business a lot. And I knew the car business because when I worked in the newspaper business, I handled all the automotive classified advertising. So I thought I knew the car business anyway. So we would talk about this spreadsheet and the numbers and where they come from. And I didn't even know what a dealer management system was, but he explained to me, here's why I take these numbers, I train my people, and I make them more profitable because we look at where they stand every day. And I said, geez, you know, that seems like a lot of work. And turns out it was a lot of work because then when I joined his dealership, that was my job. And I was spending hours to get him the numbers that he wanted. And I said, there's got to be a better way. I was looking for vendors that did this sort of thing and couldn't find anything. So um, he being the entrepreneur is, I said, let's go build this. If we need it, there's got to be other people that need the same content to drive more profit in their stores. So uh, off to work we went. I found a developer and um, tried to teach them the car business so they understood what it was I was looking for. And this was back prior to DMS integrations being as simple and um, available as they are now. So it was all manual entry. Granted, it was 45 seconds for a title clerk to enter the deal into our platform, and the data was all there. But when we decided, hey, let's take this to market and see who else might be interested, that was a very easy objection my office doesn't have time to do duplicate entry. So um, we bought a couple more stores, got really into trying to get them up and running. And we did so successfully, but that kind of backburnered this project until four, almost five years ago, we said, let's get back into that. Found a new developer and started from scratch. It was just to make it something that integrates automatically with all the DMS systems. They said it would be easier to start over. We did, and we have now what we today, several years of enhancements. As we've added clients, we take feedback and have enhanced our platform considerably. And we're now up to almost 90 rooftops nationwide, probably be over 100 stores by mid-September. And it's just really starting to accelerate. And what we've done that we retain nearly all our dealer clients because once they have the information at their fingertips where they can train their salespeople, their sales managers, their F&I managers, it helps with a the statement. They use it to do payroll every week for commissions, verification. Uh, they can't live without it. It's literally probably saves the average dealer not only hours and hours of man hours, but oftentimes it saves them a complete salary for someone who does it for their organization. Um, so it's really, once I get the chance to show people what we do, it really gets them excited and brings a lot of value to a small group or a 20 rooftop group. Wow, you know, having information at your fingertips is, is definitely key. And there are a lot of people that waste a lot of time on spreadsheets. So be very interesting to, to see the platform. Yeah, I'd be happy to show you a little bit. As a leader in your dealership, you have many different responsibilities. Motivating your team, vendor calls, and customer service, just to name a few. Where are you supposed to find the time to do your actual job? That is to coach and train your team to be top performers. Well, there are brighter days ahead with Vision AST. Our cloud-based platform integrates directly with your DMS to pull key performance metrics 
present them to you and your team in just a matter of seconds. So now you spend less time digging for information and data and more time driving profit in your store. Vision AST, data that drives process and production, data that drives profit. The flagship platform is called Sales Vision. It's a complete variable operations and it's a dealer facing platform that we started this whole program with. We have peeled off a power version, power, it's called Power Vision, it's for power sports and finance vision that's used by third party administrators and warranty agencies to track their full book of business and provide their dealers with reporting. But today I'm gonna to focus on sales vision. And the first thing I always like to point out is that we did not build a whole library of reports. Coming up in the car business, the reporting out of a CRM used to drive me crazy. I did a bunch of the marketing and I tried to look at leads and lead sources and how they were handled and to find the right report and whatever they decided to name it. And by the time I found it, I forgot what I was looking for or I got distracted and had to go about my day. So I built this system with a series of filters to really speed up the process of looking for the information you want. And that drives engagement. You can dive in every single morning to start your day and know exactly where your entire sales team stands within five minutes or less and then take action with that information. So you'll see a different number of filters across the top of each screen I will show you. But what we've done is you can have one or dozens of locations available to you and you can set any sort of date range. This is just a simple dashboard that gives you year over year trends with hover over. So units sold, sales grosses with averages year over year, F&I grosses with averages and product indices year over year, and then your total gross front and back year over year. We keep track of the top 10 salespeople with units sold and average sales gross. Um, a top 10 F&I manager with, again, their grosses and product indices. And we measure the top 10 salespeople. So as you have a larger group, you can really see who's performing in which stores. And when it's your own data, you know if something looks out of place. So you know your top guy is always Brian Poole in the F&I office, but suddenly he's slipped down here. You know where you're gonna go within this platform to kind of do a little more homework and see what your issue is. So this numbers tab, is actually, this is interesting, I found this to be something I've kept. It was basically the core of what we built started with this home screen right here, which gives you a 13 month view of, so when you're sitting here looking at August of 2021, we can see where we were at the for the month of August of 2020, with sales grosses, averages, F&I, and total averages. Now we really get into a bunch of filters where we can look at different locations, type of deal, whether we want to analyze our retail or our lease business, finance business, new or used vehicles. And you can cross-reference salespeople with sales managers. So quickly you could go here and really find out if there's manager shopping going on, but you can really build stronger teams. And I've even have stores where they've changed their schedules of what salespeople are working with what sales managers as frequently as possible. Because if you go through that exercise, you'll see a difference of two, three, four hundred dollars depending on who that salesperson's working with over the course of months and a, a years. Even it's thousands and thousands of dollars, and that's an exercise that no one's doing without it being this simple. Take you forever. Um, and you can cross-reference with F&I managers too. So you can really build out your team and make it the most efficient, most profitable team in that quick of time. You do that times 16 people on a showroom floor, it's, it's a lot of money. And you can set any date range you want and really drill down. Um, from here, uh, you know, we're looking at August. Let's see what's going on in August. I just click on that month. Now I'm looking at every deal for the month of August for this location. It's got every customer, every vehicle, every person that was involved, sales manager. Um, there's a few different views. This is the front end sales gross view. I can take a look at the F&I view. 
take a look at um, point spreads, things like that. And there's a here's the big one is you get into the volume game. Um, this really came into play a few years ago when everyone was doing a lot of volume. We would look at the deals total. You know, you might not have been making a whole bunch of money on the front end of the deal, but when you add in your packs and your hold back, it give you that total gross plus, and you can see all the green means they're winners, sortable columns. So, you know, I can look at the biggest winners or biggest losers and um, really take a look at uh, what work might need to be done. Everything can be downloaded into Excel or a PDF. Uh, subscriptions are set up too. Not every staff member in every store has credentials. A lot of guys just rather have their F and I manager get a spreadsheet e or a PDF emailed to them once a morning or once a week, and they keep it that simple. And then there's a bunch of different reports within here, depending on who you want to see what. There's permissions. A lot of dealers don't like their uh, salespeople to see packs, obviously, so they will oftentimes just give permissions to see the salesperson report, and it creates that comp fosters that competition among the salespeople. It's a competitive business. But there are some very detailed and important pieces to this section of the platform. This F&I summary really gets into granular reporting of every product that's being sold in the dealership, all of those penetrations, per percentages for those products, incomes, average incomes, and PVR down here at the bottom right. And, um, you know, you can dive even further from here if I want to look at a particular F&I manager. Again, we talked about those filters. I just want to look at Brian and see how he's doing so far this month. I see he's sold seven service contracts. I can dive right in and just analyze deals that have a service contract associated with them for this month that we're looking at. Pretty successful. We can see the profit when he is selling a service contract makes a big difference. So, you know, you can quickly, like you saw in a matter of moments, really take a look at someone's performance. And as I mentioned, there's different reports simply because of permissions. There's a report that contains packs and holdbacks broken out by whether they're new or used vehicles. Uh, very important that I don't see many dealers doing that don't use this platform is keeping track of their wholesale business. They'll look and say, hey, we sold 100 cars and look at our gross profit. And then at the end of the month, they lost 20 grand on their trades that they brought to auction or that they wholesaled because their sales manager is diving into trades instead of trying to get the money from the customer. They put too much in the trade. And when it washes out at the end of the month, they're nowhere near where they thought they are were. So, um, Dealers using this platform keep an eye on this wholesale report religiously, and they know the right things happening on the showroom floor every day. And uh, the last thing I want to show you is this ranking report. It's one of the newer things that we've added to the platform. Um, but I can choose multiple locations if I want to look at my across my whole group, and it ranks my F and I managers by a bunch of different uh, metrics including PVR, this PPVR percentage is so important because what that does is it tells you how much profit is coming from the sale of products versus bank reserve. Uh, a lot of guys are really good at earning bank reserve and they're also really good at getting charged back where a lot of those products, as you know, aren't charged back. A product index, and then we came up with this power ranking that ranks across all those criteria, kind of like a golf score, whoever's the strongest has the lowest number, has the number one power rank. But we can rank by any of these criteria. Again, they're sortable, so I can you know rank them very quickly based on whatever is most important to me. Um, and then we can also actually look at different personnel. You know, I can look at sales managers in a few different ways. I can see what their impact is on the F and I department. But then it also uh, is giving me the ability to rank them by sales gross, F&I gross, or total gross. And uh, another really neat thing that we've added to this is the ability to rank by a particular product. So if we were doing some training in F&I, we may say, hey, let's look at our profitability at the finance office when we're selling a VSC. 
versus when we're not. Um, or take a look at this. Every time we add tire and wheel, we're making another $400 above our average. And you can really drill down that quickly and analyze what's going right in your office and what needs to be improved upon and do some training on it. And be prepared to do that training at a moment's notice. You don't have to go do a bunch of homework because if you're going through this exercise once a week even, you know who you need to speak to about what issues <clears throat> or concerns you may have. And address them midstream, mid-month, and not be reflecting back to what you should have addressed 30 or 45 days ago. And it's very user-friendly from the back end, too, where you can create staff and users very easily. Um, we've created uh, the subscriptions I talked about. You quickly add a email address. Like what, what reports I want to be sent maybe to my F&I manager or which store or stores if I want that competition. You know, maybe I want that ranking report to go to everybody. Uh, I want it ranked by F&I manager for my F&I managers. And save. And they are getting the report sent to them. I didn't put the frequency in. That explains that. So... And then I'm also keeping track of who's getting what when. So with staff changes and personnel changes, you remember to take them out of the system or modify the reports they're getting. And lastly, on that ranking report, you may recall that you could um, see red numbers, green numbers, because I can put in expectations or goals. I can. decide that I want the PVR, that department should be doing 1700 bucks, or that percentage I want at 70, set one or all the goals, it doesn't matter. But you can do it by location, and then when we're looking at that ranking report, we're seeing green means they're exceeding the 1700 bucks, and red, we've got some problems. So there's a lot more red on here than green right now. So, I know I need to do some work in my F&I department, and I know where that work needs to be done. And that, Paul, is the long and short of sales vision. It's intended to be that fast and simple. Um, anything that takes much longer than that, the engagement goes down and the profitability goes down because managers or your team get too busy doing other stuff and they keep putting off what they really should be doing almost every day. Great information and all in one place. It seems very, very simple to use. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. And what we're doing now, right in development as I speak, is service vision. We're going to do the same thing for measuring the profitability of service advisors, parts advisors, and technicians.